10 years ago today, two weddings that involved two couples, but they couldn't have been more opposite. One was quite royal, the other quite unusual, and it happened right here in our own backyard. News Watch 16's Ryan Lecky giving us an update on those lovebirds from Carbon County this morning. Good morning, Ryan. Yeah, and the question is, where's Mindy's saxophone today? Yeah, Good it question. hasn't been played in a while. Hopefully it's in a closet. My ears were bleeding after the morning show after that day. <laughs> Mine too. You know we love you, Melinda. So this morning we are doing an update 10 years in the making. And a number of people said when we put it out there, we were going to catch up with the couple who said I do in our backyard. Wait, they're still together? Definitely are. Take a look. We caught up recently with Kyle and Kelly Holman in our backyard. Those That was the couple who got married from the Weatherly area right here at the news station. And so many of you this morning definitely remember that day. People giving them a shout out and a happy anniversary from Dottie Thomas to the couple. For people like Patty, she said, I remember that day very well. Joe hyped it up for weeks. Happy anniversary. And she said, I think that was the last time Joe had a lot of fun in the backyard. I doubt that. But definitely it was a memorable moment for so many of us. And people like Valerie said, yes, I remember watching. And happy anniversary to the couple. So we wanted to find out what have they been up to and how are they doing? Check it out. It was 10 years ago today when Backyard Bliss hit WNEP TV. Friends, there they are. All right. Unwelcome. A ceremony involving a cast of characters, including Mindy Ramsey, who squeaked out the wedding march on her saxophone. All of this to celebrate a couple from Carbon County, Kyle and Kelly Holman. The lovebirds, who met at a party more than a decade ago, ended up being the winners of a WNEP TV contest. They agreed to tie the knot in our backyard on live TV as part of a WNEP 2 extravaganza. Hi Kyle, take you Kelly. I was a little nervous. I brought the garbage can out of the bathroom because I thought I was going to throw up. Joe was making fun of me. And comes back to the garbage can. I'm like, what are you doing? And he was all red and you're like, I don't, you never know what's going to happen. I'm like, what do you mean? And of course, with Snedeker's help, we dubbed this ceremony the Unroyal Wedding because it played out the same day and around the same time when Prince William married Kate Middleton in 2011 across the pond. Can you guys believe it has been 10 years since you got married in our backyard? It's crazy. I feel like it has just gone so quick. The last time Newswatch 16 caught up with the Holman clan, including their kids Kylie and Troy, was at their home in Weatherly in 2015 on their fourth wedding anniversary. I caught up with the family again this week over Zoom. Do people still come up to you or say anything like, hey, you're that couple that got married in the WNEP backyard? Not as much anymore, but I feel like they've always recognized Kyle more than they have me. Much has changed over the past 10 years. For starters, the Holman's first child, Kylie, has grown up. She was just a toddler at the time of the backyard wedding broadcast. She was three. Now, Kylie is 13. Troy was born about a year after the backyard ceremony. He is now nine. As for mom and dad, they've had a few career changes and promotions over the past several years and many memorable family vacations going to Mexico. I like that a lot. And the Holman gang has grown a new dog, cats and a horse, a family that's still going strong despite the critics 10 years ago. There was a lot of feedback of people saying, why are you letting a young couple get married on TV? They're only going to be divorced in a couple years. And be honest, I want you right now, spill the tea. How did you guys hold up in quarantine? Were you ready to kill each other? Well, actually, we were con both considered essential during quarantine, so we still lived the same life, but actually a little bit crazier because we had a homeschool. And speaking of the pandemic, it also derailed their 10 year anniversary plans. We were hoping to go out of the country for a 10 year, but with still, you know, different restrictions, we're probably going to put it off until the fall. And as they celebrate the 10 year anniversary of their so-called unroyal beginning, this crew is truly enjoying a life that you might just say is fit for a king's family. I think Troy looks like Kyle. He's like a little mini me. Yeah. And your daughter, got she could pass as your sister. I said, you guys don't age. And be honest, every year when your anniversary rolls around, do you ever look at the clip when you said, I do in our backyard? Yeah, I think we do that almost every year. Yeah, we still have it in the DVR. Yep. A memorable moment in time, not just for the Holman family, but also for our morning family here at Newswatch 16.
And Kelly and Kyle told me that even though they can't go overseas to celebrate their 10 year anniversary, they are kicking an idea around in the fall. Possibly Aruba. Both have their vaccines and it's definitely just great to see them. And Mindy and Tom, I have to tell you, they are just as nice as they were 10 years ago. Such a great couple. We're so glad we got to share their story and do this update with them. So happy anniversary. And Mindy, we love your saxophone playing. Thank you very much. I'm just so happy for them to see their family growing and they just they look like they're doing great. They're Such a good great sports family. to do it. Yeah. Yes. See you guys. Thanks, Ryan. Let's check with Milo.